Well, welcome fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here coming to you today from my home site. And I'm here to do another review on something. Actually, I had this planned for my trip last week. If you saw my last video, you know why that didn't happen. Uh, but hopefully I'm getting the truck fixed soon. Uh, and I can get out on the road. But this is what I had planned on reviewing. Something I picked up for my trip. I was going to do it on the road. But I guess I'll do it now. It says a power uh, inverter. That I picked up. So I can keep things charged while I'm out on the road. Boondocking in places. Stuff like that. Eventually I want to go solar. Get some of those solar uh, portable solar panels. But this will do for now. So. Let's get this review started. Travel with me, will you? Like I said, this is a little Everstart power inverter. Uh, 120 watts. Converts vehicle DC power to household AC power. One household AC part for 120 watts output. Two USB ports. 3.1 A sharp. Or shard. So you can see you plug this into your cigarette lighter or whatever you want to call that thing and then it's got an actual plug and then it's actually got the little things where you plug in like your wall mount for your cell phone and stuff like that right there don't mind my messy coffee table oh I haven't showed you guys this I post a lot of my pictures when I'm going on my adventures on Google Maps you know and I got an award from for doing it if you see this I got a pair of socks from, from Google Maps see that I don't know if I'll actually wear these too much but look at it yeah you got like a little map symbol on there a little beach water a little boat there's a little boat on there Little neat, neat little socks. Not the kind of socks I usually wear, but hey, I appreciate them. And then I guess if you post more, they get points, and they'll, they'll actually you know, give you more rewards down the road. But yeah, this is get back to the review. This is what I wanted to use on my trip because so I can keep my like laptop charged up and all that. So it doesn't die on me while I'm editing while on the road. Or I can use, this is my battery, uh, what I charge my camera batteries with. Now this, I do have an extra cord. I mean, here's the uh, thing here that plugs into the wall. But I, the, I actually got a, another cord here on the back, if you see that. That'll plug into the cigarette lighter. So I didn't have to worry about that. It was the laptop that I was worried about. So let me open this up and let's check this out. All right, let's open this up. Let's start it opening it a little bit. And here's the instruction manual for it. Get that aimed up right. All right, here we are. Here's the out of the box right there uh, inside they do give you instructions but I think it's self-explanatory if I can't figure it out I will read the instructions but it's self-explanatory but here's the charger and here's the ports I told you about see it's like your cell phone you plug your cell phone in there whatever and then you got the actual AC output right there so you can plug in anything and as I said it plugs into your cigarette lighter or whatever you want to call that thing they got them in now because a lot of cars don't come with cigarette lighters but right there that's it's a plug right in there so, drop it but yeah that's what it looks like very small might get a bigger one later on. Like I said, eventually I want to go and you know, find one of those 
portable solar panel things and a possibly a generator to carry with me but this will work for now so let me take let's take this out to my truck and we'll try it out oh and I should let you know I paid about 10 bucks maybe a little over 10 bucks for this at Walmart um, they had a little bit ones a little bit more expensive so you know eventually maybe I'll get one of the bigger ones it's got more charging ports and stuff like that but I think this is gonna work for the time being so yeah it's about just about 10 bucks at Walmart Notice on the top of the box, it tells you about what it can charge. It says, um, it's a laptop. So, for a laptop, it's like 60 watts. Uh, for like an L, like a TV screen, maybe. Maybe one of those flat screens, 48 watts. For like a iPad, one of those little pads. About 45 watts for your cell phone, three watts, uh, like an MP3 player, two watts. Camera, you can actually charge a camera, two watts, and like a little Game Boy, one watt. So, right there on the top tells you all the stuff you can charge with it and how many watts it uses to charge. Should point out here too, it says on here it says it's got a one year warranty on this. So if it goes out on me one year, I could probably replace it. You know, probably got to send it in to them, but a one year warranty. Alright, here I am in my truck. It's a warm out right now, but so right here I have two different like cigarette lighter things. You know, one I have my cell phone and uh, that next and another is external. So I can plug that right in there. Go in. There we go. There she is. She's in. Yep, see the green lights on. Got the green light on. Now, what I did. I brought my hair dryer out. That's about the best I can think of trying. But like I said, I'm really doing this for like my laptop. That's all I really need on the road so I can edit the videos and probably look up information. So, plug this in just like your regular wall mount. Like that. See? And let's see if this works. So here's my hair dryer. It's not very strong. It's working. I hear it humming. Whew. It does draw out a lot of power, I guess. Hair dryer. But. The other thing is you can use it for like charging your cell phone. So oh, hold on a minute. I had to go back and get my cell phone left it in the house. So plug that in there. Plug in there. Look at that, it's charging my cell phone. I don't know if you can see the red light. It's charging my cell phone. So, like I said, I'll probably use it to keep my laptop. Now, when I'm using my laptop, I won't, you know, have it plugged in. But if the battery goes low, I'll plug it into this and keep my laptop charged. So, this is the first time I've used these. You know, have to figure out a place to put it. Got a little cubby holes here. Got a cubby hole here. Uh, this is like the old ashtray. Might be able to take that out of there. 
I don't know if it'll fit it in there, but I don't smoke. So I don't really need the ashtray. And that might fit right in here. Plug that. See? Maybe I'll get some of that sticky stuff. You know, like Velcro or something. Put it there. Or like this. You know, since I don't smoke, I can actually stick it right there. Right there, that might work right there. I didn't exactly like how it showed how the hair dryer, maybe the hair dryer takes a lot more power to do. So I brought out what I originally bought this for, a laptop. Here's my laptop. And you see I got it plugged in right there. And let's plug this in and see how it works. So here I got it plugged in into the, the converter and right there I don't know if you can see right there very good Oop, there you go there's a little white light right there that means I'm getting power to my laptop so that's exactly what I want to use it for you know of course my laptop's got a battery in it but it doesn't last forever so when I'm done using it I'll just plug it in while I'm driving maybe or something and charge up my battery all right guys that's my little quick review of the Everlast Everstart 120 watt power converter said hopefully you know eventually I'll get my truck fixed at work um, shout out to my cousin Jim He's been helping me out a lot, figuring out what's going on with my truck and all that. We have good feeling what we know what it is now. Uh, the fan uh, clutch might have went bad. So I've got a new clutch. I'm going to put that in here. And hopefully that fixes my overheating problems. And then I can get back on the road and I can use this on the road. You know. Is that happened? I know my last video I was a little down on myself, but it happens, you know. I'm getting over it. Life happens, you know. Life isn't perfect. So hopefully I can get this going and get this puppy on the road and we'll get back to traveling. So I just wanted to do this little review. I wanted to do it on my trip, but things happen, you know. And that's it maybe not the strongest I might look up with another one later on maybe stronger like I said I would like to get that solar panel you know the portable solar panel or a generator you know small generator I've been looking for a small generator to carry with me too so I keep my things out the only thing I really need is my laptop you know and all that my cell phone and I that plug right into my truck you know, don't have to worry about that too much. And my even my other stuff, my batteries, I can plug right into my truck. You know, and charge those while I'm driving. You know, so you know, it's just the laptop that I was really worried about. And you know, when I'm out, I'm just sleeping in the back of the truck, I don't need too much. You know, nothing really power. And I'm not planning on sitting here watching television. And if I do want to watch any kind of television, I got my cell phone now where you got different apps, you know, like Hulu and all that. I can watch stuff on my cell phone and charge it right in my truck. It's just stuck on my cell phone. Uh, or I mean my laptop, you know, for my editing and stuff. Or looking up information, 
about attractions in the areas. So, that's my review of the Everstart power converter. So, you might, I might want to check a different one. So when I did that hair dryer, it wasn't very strong power. I don't know, maybe the hair dryer. Hair dryer does take a lot of pressure or something like that. And and it does take a fuse, they say, and I was reading the instructions, it does take a fuse. I guess you can change if it blows a fuse and all that. But it's going to work. I'm going to figure out how to mount it in the truck. Maybe just put it away when I'm not using it. You know, I could put it in storage. I got a little cubby hole up here. Where I don't know what you really that's for. Like glasses or something like that. It fits right up in there. Might put it up in there. So I can just plug stuff up in there. So if you like this review, hit that like button. Share, subscribe. Any comments appreciated? Any comments for me is appreciated. Any ideas for me to do? Let me know. I just might show up and do it. Anything you want me to review? Let me know. I might just do it. You know something that might help me on my travels. So till next time, my fellow travelers. I'll see you around the mitten.